And he wants to have the back and shake another hand, shake a hand next to you, shake another hand, shout by Shiloh. Shake another hand, shake a hand next to you, shake another hand and say, shake another hand and say, shake another hand and say, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. One more time, sing it out if you can go, Shabbat. Everybody, Shabbat Shalom. So good to see you. Oof. Good morning, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. We've got dinosaurs. We've got handshakes. We've got repurposed hits from the 90s. We've got it all going on at Java Tunes this morning. It is so wonderful to be here with you, to have Cantor Stone here, to have Jason here, and of course, most importantly, to have all of our wonderful friends here sharing a slightly cloudy, but still beautiful Shabbat morning here together. And Jason's rocking and rolling and far be it from me to get in his way. Jason, I'm gonna kick it back over to you to talk to us about being grateful and, and having some fun as we keep the party rocking. Beautiful. Thanks, Rabbi. So a long, long, long time ago, before people knew what dreams were, they would wake up in the morning and they would scream. They go, ah, and they go, oh, thank God I was just asleep. And then go back to bed the next night. They'd wake up and they'd be scared to go. ah, Oh, and they'd wake and they go, oh, thank God I was just asleep. And this started this grand tradition every morning of waking up and thanking God. The very first thing we did in the morning just for waking up. So right now we're going to do that. We're going to show some gratitude, this attitude of gratitude. And I want you to do these dance moves with me. You're going to repeat them after me at home. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Mode ani, 
Modani, good Modani, Modani. Oh, that's really good, Rodgers. Lefanecha, yeah, Lefanecha. Oh, good, and then down. Melechai v'kayam, Melechai v'kayam, Modani, Modani. You're looking good, Modani, Modani. Two hands. Lefanecha. You guys look amazing right now. This is good. It's going to get a little faster. Do your best fiddler when you bring it up here. It's a little, very if I were a rich man. This is good. Okay. Now, last one. Modani, 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 Lefanecha, Lefanech, Melechai, Vikayam, Melechai, Vikayam. Then we all say yam on, on the count of three. One, two, three. Yam. Alright, we're ready. <laughs> oh, it's me. <laughs> I gotta put my guitar back on. This is so silly. This is what I get for planning a dancing song. All right, everybody, we gotta sing about it. We gotta hear about it. It's uh, our, a song about our tents and how good they are. Morning, Rabbi. Oh, ha, lechayako, mishke no te ha, yis, We are coming to a very, very important part of the service right now. It's time for us to recite the Baruch Hu. And there's a reason why this is very important. The reason this is very important is because this is the moment we come together as a community to pray. So I'll stand up. We're going to sing the Baruch Hu together. I think you know this one. And we're going to announce that while we may not actually be in the same room together right now, but we are here together. We are a powerful group, a powerful community of people who have come here this morning to be together and to pray. So please rise and we're going to sing with me.
wonderful. Thank you for coming together. We're all one big community. And now it's time for us to say the Shema. I think most of you probably know the Shema. So I want to know, what are we saying when we are saying the Shema? You can show me with your fingers. We're, fingers. We are saying that God is two. God is two. What are we saying? God is one, right? There is one God. So we can say the Shema and say that we mean that there's only one God, but it can also mean that God is unique. There's nothing else in the entire universe that is like God, just like there is nothing else and no one else in the entire world that ju is just like you. God is unique, just like you are unique. So we're going to close our eyes and we're going to cover our eyes with our fingers. And we're going to concentrate really fully and we're going to say the Shema together. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kivod Mahuto Le'olam Ba'el. Yes. Now, the thing about visiting other people's shuls, because I'm a wandering Jew, and the thing about visiting other people's shuls is that you never really know which version of Mi Mocha to sing. So I've actually come up with a solution for us. We're going to sing all of them. Here we go. <laughs> Mi kamocha nedar bakodesh nora nora tehilot ose 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 fele mi kamocha ba elimadonai mi kamocha nedar bakodesh nora tehilot ose fele nora tehilot ose Cats are looking amazing this morning. Mi chamocha ba'eli madonai, mi chamocha nedar ba'kodesh, mi chamocha ba'eli madonai, mi chamocha nedar ba'kodesh, nora tehilo ose fele, nora tehilo ose fele, adonai yimloch le'olam ba'eli. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome and we're living our dream. I've been waiting in the velvet sea. I've been waiting in the velvet sea. I've been waiting in the velvet sea. I've been waiting in the, I've been waiting in the Micha Mocha Baeli Madonai. Mika mocha nerda bakodesh Nora tehilot osefele Nora tehilot ose So I put my hands up and play in my song And the butterflies fly away Not in my head like yeah Moving my hips like yeah So I put my hands up and play in my song And I know it's gonna be okay yeah, Micha Mocha in the USA, here we go, it's yeah, Micha Mocha in the USA. Micha Mocha Ba'elim Adonai, Micha Mocha Netar Ba'kodesh. Nice job singing along with all those different versions, friends. Now this morning, I want to take a quick moment to talk about gifts. In my house, in the Mesh's house growing up, we had a rule about gifts. If you got a gift, you had to give a gift. And that was always Mama Mesh's rule. And so I follow it to this day. And today, we're actually going to be doing some gift giving with each other. And I'm going to be giving you a gift. 
So the deal is if I'm giving you a gift that you have to return one to me and everyone else in the room. So here's the gift I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the gift of a personal silent prayer. And the gift you're going to give everybody else is a moment to also have that personal silent prayer. And the reason why it's a gift is you may not be feeling that today. You may be here at this Shabbat morning and you may not need that moment. And that's okay. If you learn nothing else from our time together, I hope you learn that praying is really hard. And sometimes it's really, really hard. That's actually why we pray together in groups so we have each other's back. So the gift you're gonna give someone else is this moment, this opportunity to have this silent prayer because maybe they need it this morning. So that's the gift we give each other, and that's the gift that we get to take this moment. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna do the beginning of our Amidah, our standing prayer, out loud. And then we're gonna take 30 seconds, which is in, in Zoom is an eternity. We're gonna take 30 seconds to pray all of the things that are happening in here and in here because those are just as important as everything that's in our books and in our Torahs is what's going on in here, okay? So here we go. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi agitehilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth May declare your praise. Take a quick 30 seconds to figure out what's happening in here and in here. Y'all know what time it is. Our Shat HaShavua means the portion of the week. So grab your yacht and talk to God for answers that you seek. So go ahead and read it or chant it if you like. But make sure we can hear you speak into the mic. Uh-oh, don't be muted. Talk to us about this week's portion, Rabbi. Shabbat Shalom, Temple Beth Am. This is a very special Parsha this week because it actually already has three lines in it that you know, that you know really well, and that you're actually about to hear as soon as I'm done speaking. And those are the three lines of the priestly blessing. And they say, Yevarechacha Adonai ve'yishmerecha, may God bless you and may God keep you safe. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha, may God's face shine light upon you and bring you grace. Yisa Adonai panav elecha ve'yasem lecha shalom. May God's face lift up towards you and bring you peace. Now, my favorite line of this priestly blessing is the last one. Yisa Adonai panav elecha means that God's face is lifting up towards us. Now, often we think of God as being bigger than us, not below us. Often, actually, we think of God as above us. But when we think of God as being able to lift up God's face to us, that means that God is not just something that we can't see or that we can only feel or only experience when we're saying blessings or singing songs, but that God is actually in all of the people who are around us. And what does it mean to lift up God's face to us? That means that because we can see God in every person who we interact with, with our parents, with our siblings, with our friends, with our teachers, that we're able to also recognize the ways that those faces, those people, help us lift our face up, help us feel good about the things we've done. When we're told that we have a beautiful piece of art, or you acted so nicely towards your siblings today, or you did such a great job leading for Shabbat this week, 
those are all ways that our face gets lifted up by God because someone else has told us how we've made them feel good, how we've made them feel like God was in our presence together. So I hope that this week, this Shabbat, you're able to feel blessed and feel loved and feel safe and feel as though you know the people around you who lift up your face, who make you feel like you are taken care of, that there are people in your life who want to see you do great things, and that that's the way that we can create peace, by seeing other people in our life who do good and look at them and let them lift our face up and let us lift up their faces. Shabbat Shalom. And since you're so beautiful, it's worthy of blessing and celebrating. So just like we usually do, Cantor Stone and I are going to offer some words of blessing to you. And we're going to do what we usually do, or Cantor Stone's going to do it in the Hebrew, and I'm going to share it in English. And we're going to have kids grab their grown-ups, grown-ups grab their kids, give them a nice big hug. We're going to be saying these words of blessing. You can share these words of blessing. You can say the same words, or you can also share special words of blessing just for the beautiful people that you're giving big hugs to. And parents, you can bless your kids. Kids, you can bless your grown-ups as well and give them some love because we all need some blessing these days. Right, Cantor? Right. Adonai May God bless you and protect you. May the Holy One always shine light upon you and may you know grace and love. May you always feel the warmth and the connection of God, and may you always know peace and wholeness and love. Amen. My friends, time flies when you're having fun, and we're just Ooh. about at our time this morning. So before I kick it over to Jason for our third mega mix of the morning, friends, you don't get that everywhere. Not one, not two, but three mega mixes. That's I the best um, say, difference. That's right. That's, right. That's, that's the special sauce we bring to you. Um, I want to make sure to say a big todaraba, a big thank you to our friend Jason, and to our friend Cantor Stone, and of course, a big Toda Rabbah and a Shabbat Shalom to all of you for joining us. I do want to say, in addition to the videos that we've been sharing with you every week, which I hope you've been checking out because we're having a good time making them, and we hope you're having a good time watching them, we have one more Shabbat tune scheduled for this year on May 15th, and believe it or not, my friends, this is going to sound crazy, we're thinking about finding a way to do it not on here, but in three dimensions, live and in person at Temple Beth Am. So keep an eye out for more information about that. We're very excited. We love seeing you on Zoom and even with masks on and even with keeping some social distance to keep things safe. We'd love to see you in person even more. So keep an eye out for more about that. We hope we're going to be able to make it work and do it soon. Either way, we'll be doing another Shabbat Tunes live in a couple of weeks. It's so great to have you guys with us. We're celebrating Israel this week, so we're going to close things out with a big, rocking Israel mega mix. Jason, let's close things out with a bang. All right, let's see what happens here. <laughs> oh, Davinu Chai. Oh, Davinu Bashana, Abba, 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 
We'll start that over so you can give the hand notes. Here we go. David, Melech Israel, Chai, Chai, Vekayam. David, Melech Israel, Chai, Chai, Vekayam. David, Melech Israel, Chai, Chai, Vekayam. Am Yisrael, Chai, Am Yisrael, Chai, Am Yisrael, Chai. Am Yisrael, Chai, Am Yisrael, Chai, Am Yisrael. Shalom, everyone, and have an amazing Yom Atzmut celebration weekend. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. It's wonderful to see you. We'll see you really soon. Have a great Shabbat. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Shabbat Shalom.